Today on A Common the Good MTG, we are playing with the Aggro Smasher. Mono Red's days are over. Stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to A Common the Good MTG. I am your host. 51st in line to the throne of the United Kingdom, Dr. Yukon Socket! Yes, thank you! Filmed for a live studio audience. Thank you so much! Yukon Socket! Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you from my Say With Me secret underground headquarters. And I'm bringing to you a deck, well, you know, I that was inspired by a deck that I got off of magic.gg. So yeah, what the story here is that in the, the uh, comments, there's been a conversation about how the mill deck didn't hold up well against a mono red deck. And yep, mono red decks are kind of the plague of the meta right now. And the, the, the conversation turned to, uh, what can we do? What can we do about it? And so I said, man, we just need to build a deck that's going to mess it up. We're going to put something with a lot of life gain in it, and that will take care of Mono Red. So I went out looking for something, and I found a particular deck over on Magic GG that I thought, yep, yeah, this looks like it has a strong potential for it. Now, the problem is after I played it a little bit, it did very well except for it had a bunch of cards in it that uh, didn't help out. Like, it didn't provide us life gain. It didn't actually even defend at all. It's all those little mites were in there, and unless, you know, they just weren't helping out. Because the thing about mites is that they're slow and they can't block and they're easy to kill. And so all, too much of the deck was focused on putting mites out. So I ripped out all of those guys. I ended up ripping out some other cards as well. I ended up replacing probably, I don't know, a third of the deck or something like that, right? So this is a big swing from the, the deck that inspired it. I just wanted to point that out. All right, so let's take a look at the cards with this deck. We'll talk a little bit about how it's supposed to work. We'll take it out and we'll crush some hopes and dreams. Right over here, we got Intrepid Adversary who's got lifelink and can put out dudes that can plus up everybody else. Uh, Ossification pins down creatures and planeswalkers. Spirit of Companion draws you a card. This guy gives you life and takes away life from other people, depending upon things that occur. It has Death Touch and is a really easy 2 2 that comes out early. Borrowed Time pins down any non, non land permanent and opponent controls. Brutal Cathar takes out a target creature an opponent controls until this thing leaves the battlefield. And he can wolf out. Restoration of Ian Ganjo is white ramp because he can go get you another land, making sure that you are ramping up to your mana goals as quickly as possible. Uh, after a while, I don't care about turn two. That just, that just kind of switched things around a little bit. He puts out a nice big body at 3-4 with Vigilance. And anytime he attacks or blocks, he puts out a 1-1 one, one killer, killer spirit token. A wedding announcement puts out little dudes. You know what we really need is the guy that just says every time one of your guys comes into play, you get a you get a life. That guy would really help out this deck. Problem is, I really want Intrepid Adversary because life leak on a 3 or something bigger is really cool. Depopulate wipes out the board. Sarah Paragon will help you go get the little dudes back because you can bring you can play out of your graveyard Anything that's three or less, and that is everything from this column over. Shouldered comes out, gives you life, and takes away life from your opponent every time a card is drawn. Brexian Obliterator just messes up Mono Red. They can't do anything about it except for just charge and hope for the best. Uh, Elish Norn, Mother of Machines, uh, prevents ETB effects of your opponents and doubles the ETB effects of your own. Plus, she's got Vigilance and a big old seven butt. And she's not that expensive at five mana. So pretty sweet. All right, on that, we got a nice collection of lands. The Kamigawa ones allows you to do four damage to target attacking or blocking. This one allows you to mill a little bit and then pull a creature or a planeswalker from your graveyard back to your hand. And other than that, you got some dual lands. So what are we doing? We're just getting things out, pinning things down, gaining some life, and keeping them from doing stuff. This And what's the goal? To mess over mono red. Just a Bend them down, spit in their mouth, and just punch them in the nose. All right, so what else are we going to do? Well, let's see. We're going to say our prayers to the Black Lord Toxroll. 
Black King Toxrill dwells in the dark chambers of my heart. Please hear my prayers as we go out to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. Our plan against Russ, 777. Let's see, everything is three. That's not great. All right, number two. Gotta wait till next turn before we start playing anything. This guy looks like he's playing red, red deck wins. The teeth scratching just kills me. That's we got to pin down. No attack. We're just going to have to sacrifice a couple chumps to the chump factory here. You don't got first strike. In. All right. Now we got some muscle. And we hold it together. I have anything in the graveyard. Let's just wipe the board, get his guy back. That suck. Got things green back from the graveyard, though. Nice, life gain. The guy is not hasty, is he? Boing. All right, so I'm hoping I can get some of that life gain, this sweet, sweet life gain. You want Urbrask back, don't you? All right, you're going to hate how this works out for you. All right, 14 for me. All in for the attack. Depopulate. And restoration. I got a land. Yes, it's only a land. And it comes to me upon my command.
Welcome back, baby. Nice mother of machines might be nice. Eat, that's actually really good too. But I got enough to do them both. Let's see what we can do. I'd rather have that. And there we go. All right, well, Chumper Chumped Offerson, they gave us all that life gain was pretty sweet. He's driving at that Sarah Paragon. He's, I'm sure he's got what it takes to kill it. Otherwise, that was completely for nothing. Yeah, there he goes. He wasted two cards on it. Down to seven. Ooh, nice. All right, so he's only got one card. Doubt that's going to win the game for him. Chewed. I'm just going to ramp like crazy on this guy. Auto, auto, auto. And we win. Suck it, Mono Red. Suck it. I guess Drant. One, two, three. All right, Spirit of Companion, go get us a card. It's good at this point in the game. Okay, they populate. Excellent. Mono Black's not going to have a huge board state, I think. Could. They could put out Shouldred and some other crap. We can wipe the board then. No attacks. That dog's just going to chump for us. That board wipe's looking better and better. And another land. Okay. We'll go for black. And since I'm going to wipe the board pretty soon, I'm just going to put out another chomp is what I'm thinking. anything to put out. That is very strange. Ooh, I really don't want to lose that guy. All right, now wish I would have just wiped the board. There we go. That's all that matters here. All 
Okay, so he starts putting out Tenacious D. We can always just jump him with Chomper Steams there. Spirited Companion. Does he have his own board wipe or did I turn the game suddenly? Four life for me. Uh, my dudes are swole. And we win. How do we say this? Winner, winner, victory dinner. All right, we're playing against Renegade Ass Angel. Nice. One, two, three. Can really pin a couple things down. All right, so turn two is just this guy. Spirited Companion. All right, what do we got? We got plenty of black mana to be able to get that guy out. Let's just roll for it, I guess. Yeah, counter, huh? No tax. You, my friend, are going to run out of cards soon. I don't think you have the ability to do anything about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pay this one out. There we go. You think you got what it takes? We got one, two, three, four, five. All right, let's... Uh, Ossification. Senior snotty pants there. Borrowed time. That guy. No tax. That's bad for you, baby. I mean, I guess you got a lot of stuff you can uh, give up first. You need to give up a stack of your lands, huh? Alright, I don't know how this is going to go. Nice. Let's just do it. I can pin these guys down by putting out one of these things. Let's just do it. Two of them down. No attacks. Unfortunately, Brutal Cathar can be killed off easily. Alright, Shouldred. I 
That's three. All right, that's fine. You're top decking. Let's go for all of it. I guess we only could do one shot on him. You gonna give it up, yo? Yo, you're just keeping those little soldiers alive, aren't you? Who's your life? Who's another life? And we win. Suck it, renegade ass. Angel. All right, we're playing against Jimmy G, 78. 78 years old today. Happy birthday, Jimmy G. Your cat's pooping in the grass. I don't appreciate it. One, two, three. Keep. Now clean it up. What's our plan forward? Spirit of Companion. Wedding announcement, unless we need to pin something down with the Brutal Cathar. What is he playing up here? Grixis, huh? Means we gotta worry about getting uh, Invoke the Spares on us a bunch. Yeah, Brutal Cathar is just a half measure. It's because they're so easy to kill. I want to save Sarah Paragon until after the depopulate happens. Need three for that. All right, Brew Cathar. Yeah, give it up. Give up the Delver. Oh, he takes the hit instead. And he's got a second one out. Yeah, you're not going to get it back, unfortunately. Let's go play this game again. Pop. All attack. Down to 18. Uh, he doesn't have any mountains at all. You go dig digging for him though at this point. All 
All right, so we could trade off with his guys and he didn't get into Dilbert Streakers out of the deal. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to go after a cough at all. That take care of Planeswalkers? It certainly does. See if he trades off. He hasn't been willing to trade off the Delver of Seekers, but he might be willing to go Kiki Jiki for another Delver. He's down to two cards. And he's up down to three cards. Got a lot of mana. He's not getting the instance of sorceries that he's looking for. Have you gotten any? Who oh, wants this guy back? Yeah, depopulate certainly look really good. All right, he's not going to give up that Delver for it. They're all going to die. Question is, yeah, whether you're going to take a point of damage or not. All right, and we're moving along now. a land killer, not a creature. And I'll take a black. I'm surprised he didn't go up to land that had any enchantment on it. He could have got back his cough. All right, there we go. We'll be able to put, what is it, pin down the Swift Spear on the next turn, provided that the Paragon doesn't get killed. This guy's passed up combat. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho. mother, huh? Right, let's pay the mother first. All right, just one guy. Two guys. Things aren't looking good, are they? Alright, he's got three mana in his hand. He could be on something good. Ooh, wipe the board. You're out of mana. You can't attack. Otherwise, your switch will die. All right, I'll attack. Down to four. Wow, the next two cards were both restorations. 
I really don't see this game turning. Let's, you can't wipe the board. Mother of runes is gonna, uh, mother of machines is gonna keep that pin down. He's gonna give up in a second. This is it your only chance? All right, I just gotta get two guys past you. There we go. Winner, winner, victory dinner. All right, so here we are with the Aggro Smasher, and uh, it has been a fantastic deck. I ended up having an 83% win rate in the general play. I killed uh, mono red, mono black, and two. Um, what is that one called? Is it's two is it's there you go. And uh awesome. Yeah, they, they came at me, brah, and I shut them down fast. I taught them what's what. I, I could probably, you know, you could probably tune this up a little bit more, but you know, that's the thing about magic, you know, uh, tuning it up, I mean, to get more life gain in there, which would be kind of nice. Sometimes I felt like I didn't find those particular cards. But um, you don't need to do too much, you just need to do enough is the problem. And it's not a problem, it's it's the way the game goes. And other than that, the, it did really well. I was really, like, one of the great things is the Phyrexian Obliterator. I only got one in there because the rest of the deck was pretty tight as it is. But I know against early meta that Phyrexian Obliterator is just so hard to go after. Mono Red can't do anything about it. Mono Green would be devastated about it as well. They'd try to fight it or whatever and it would just force them to give up however much they're fighting against it. At least five. At least five. Um, Mom here shuts down all of the ETB effects from your opponents. That is so fantastic. All right, so what? who was the hero of this deck? Uh, probably Sarah Paragon was. The card I was the most iffy about is Brutal Cathar. It, for some reason, when I play against it, this thing is just so devastating. When you put it out yourself, it's just a 2-2 who's so easy to kill. There's so many red cards that could take it out, so many you know, green can kill anything with it as long as you get into a little fight. It's just so easy to get anything back this thing pins down. But if you don't get anything to take out creatures, this thing just starts ripping through the horses eventually. So I might tune him down a little bit more just because he is kind of a waste. I kind of more prefer your... Uh, uh, where am I looking at here? Uh, oh, Borrowed Times. Borrowed Times, I like those better. Just because people usually can't take out enchantments. Ossification is also pretty decent here. And it's really nice about Borrowed Time is you can take out Planeswalker as well. Lots of things that Borrowed Time can take out. All right, so um, was this deck competitive? I ended up getting an 83% win rate. And so, yes, this deck is competitive. Number two, was this deck fun? Um, yeah. I mean, it was fun for me. Was it fun? Boy, I, when I say that immediately, I have a hard time justifying it, don't I? What I liked was the fact that it took down Mono Red. It took out the Monos, took out Aggro, smashed the Aggro. I like that. I like the fact that the creatures I did put out were, for the most part, worthless and didn't really matter. And it was okay. It was okay that they got killed or whatever. And that, you know, as long as you could wait till later on, Sarah Paragon can just bring them back at which point your big boys would be out and things would go. It was just a really good mid-range deck. Did I have fun with it? Yeah. I mean, the early parts of the game, you know, you were playing. It wasn't anything super fun going on. But it didn't feel like I was like at a, at a not doing anything or at some sort of like a problem. It felt like I was always doing fairly well, that I wasn't losing any ground, and that going forward things were looking good. So I was more satisfied than fun. Uh, I guess that's it. And lastly, was it interesting? And I'm going to say, I mean, there's nothing really interesting about this deck. It was fun playing with Mother of Runes. Not Mother of Runes. Mother of Machines. Um, she, at five, she really wasn't that expensive. And I love shutting down the ETB effect and having a big old seven butt. That's just ginormous. Ginormous. It's hard to believe. And she's got Vigilance as well. There's so many good things you could do with Mom here. And it, it you know... It was cool. I, I ripped out one of her from the original deck so I could put the Obliterator in. Obliterator also did fantastic the one time we, we got it out. 
Shouldered does great, especially for getting that life gain to keep you going on a little bit longer. So all together, yeah, this was a fantastic deck. Was it interesting? Uh, we've seen it all before. We're not really playing with that many new uh, cards from Obi One. So, uh, eh. So let's see. So if we rate it up, is it competitive? Yes. Is it fun? It's all right. Is it interesting? Eh, it's all right. So I'm going to give this deck. Here's the deal. I'm going to give it an A. I'm going to give it a, a straight A. The reason why is because it is a solid deck that just totally thwarts mono red um, and the other fast aggro decks. It is an aggro smasher. And I got to say, it is worth playing right now in the current meta. So if you decide to play with this deck, I hope that you have as good a time with it as I did. That is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Later.